We're talking Meta Platforms. Shares are up about 135, 136% so far on the year. Kevin, I'll go to you here first. Uh, if you look at our uh, last earnings report, Facebook monthly active users over 3 billion uh, uh, monthly active users. Daily active people on their platforms, across all their platforms on a daily basis, 3.07 billion on average for June. I mean, these are astronomical numbers. And I think the key part of this is they've got the eyeballs and the digital ad spend didn't come down like a lot of people thought it would. Right, it turned out to be like 113 billion. But here's the thing, Google Alphabet, 168 billion in digital yeah. ad spend. So they're still number two by quite a ways. Mm -hmm. So th there is some room, but this is a company that depends on digital ad spend. You know, they they did a good job finally of trimming expenses, 20,000 layoffs. Um, you know, they highlighted spending on new ventures. Instead, they pivoted to cutting expenses. The year of efficiency is now almost two thirds over. That's really good. But, but, and here's the problem. They are now at some of the more expensive levels they've been in five years in terms of valuation. Right. 6.3 times sales, 33 and a half is the PE, I think, that last time I checked, let's see. Yeah, 32 and a half now, because it's, it's come down slightly. Still, now, you know, we were talking about how cheap it was for a while. It's not cheap anymore. Yeah. Right? Therein lies the problem. It's come down, you know, from 326 to 278 now, so it's cheaper than it was, but it was getting severely overvalued. Yeah. Valued. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and Joe, when you look at, uh, you know, Kevin mentioned that the year of efficiencies, that was really uh, a big thing over the past couple quarters during their conference calls. Uh, but then also you got to look at look at it pretty vanilla like. And that is they talk about A.I. now. They talk about their monthly and daily active users. They don't talk about the metaverse at all anymore. And that's been a bonus also. Right. <laughs> they learned their lesson. Right? Yes. I mean, Zuckerberg's a sharp guy. He, he realized that uh, AI was driving valuations, and if you want to expand those multiples, you got to find some way to build that into the lexicon, right? So they, you know they've been doing that. So speaking of which, they launched their new uh, new generative AI coding tool, uh, Code Llama. Uh, they made that announcement uh, yesterday, and it's supposed to help developers work faster by suggesting lines of software code. I don't know if that's a game changer. It's just something that uh, they're adding to the repertoire, but it's an open source model meaning that other companies will be able to use and, and kind of build that for their, their own tools. So I, I you know, look, I, I think that that's, um, you know, potentially down the road could be an important part of the business. Now, I still think they do have some headwinds. Kevin mentioned the valuations um, in, in, in terms of the, uh, the PE ratio. You know, one of the things that could still kind of be an issue is uh, what we're seeing with the, with the, e, the EU, excuse me, and, you know, their, their need to adhere to stricter codes around, um, uh, their content moderation, you know, they're already taking steps with what they're doing for uh, ads that are targeting teens. So they, you know, they, they've made a move in the right direction there. Um, I, I do challenge a little bit on the valuation. And, and here's why I say that. If you can continue to see 30% uh, EPS growth over the next five years, and that's what's priced in, right? I mean, a lot of things can can change, but if you're looking at a, a potential for 30% 30, 30 um, uh, earnings per share growth over the next five years, which uh, the, the market is at this point. You look at a peg ratio of just north of one, right? So if you look at the price earnings multiple divided by uh, that expected growth rate, you know, anything anything one or under is considered fairly cheap. And we're talking about a, a, a company that has the growth potential of a company like Meta trading at about a 1.05 peg. I don't look at that as extremely expensive. But you know, it, it could be a, a, a headwind in, in the intermediate term. And the reason I think that that is important is I think you have to look at Meta from two different, uh, two different, two, di two different uh, directions, excuse me, short term, long term. I think short term, uh, kind of given some of the price action that we've seen, the fact that it has come down 50 bucks from its high, uh, the fact that uh, you know, the NASDAQ as a whole has faced uh, you know, some challenges you know, the last month. And I think a lot of that is the interest rate sensitivity of the technology sector um, has given you know potential opportunities for uh, investors to maybe step in at a little bit cheaper level. Uh, 